Good morning, Michael here, and today we're looking again at Psalms 116 with focus on verse 18 and 19 for the exposition. Let's go ahead and read the Psalms in its entirety. And of course, it's a psalm that was subtitled, I Love the Lord. Verse 1. I love the Lord because he has heard my voice and my pleas for mercy. Because he inclined his ear to me, therefore I will call on him as long as I live. The snares of death encompass me. The pangs of Sheol laid hold on me. I suffered distress and anguish. Then I called on the name of the Lord. O oh Lord, I pray, deliver my soul. Gracious is the Lord and righteous. Our God is merciful. The Lord preserves the simple. When I was brought low, he saved me. Return, O oh my soul, to your rest, for the Lord has dealt bountifully with you. For you have delivered my soul from death my eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I believed, even when I spoke, I am greatly afflicted. I said in my alarm, all mankind are liars. What shall I render to the Lord for all his benefits to me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. O Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant, the son of your maidservant. You have loosed my bonds. I will offer to you the sacrifice of thanksgiving and call on the name of the Lord. Verse 18. I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Verse 19. In the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem, praise the Lord. And so we look at um, the treasury of David uh, for the exposition. And on verse 18. I will pay my vows unto the Lord, now in the presence of all his people. He repeats the declaration. A good thing is worth saying twice. He thus stirs himself up to the greater heartiness, earnestness, and diligence in keeping his vow, really paying it at the very moment that he is declaring his resolution to do so. The mercy came in secret but the praise is rendered in public. The company was, however, select. He did not cast his pearls before swines, but delivered his testimony before those who could understand and appreciate it. Verse 19. In the courts of the Lord's house, in the proper place where God had ordained that he should be worshipped. See how he stirred up at the remembrance of the house of the Lord? and must needs speak of the holy city with a note of joyful exclamation, In the midst of thee, O Jerusalem! The very thought of the beloved Zion touched his heart, and he writes as if he were actually addressing Jerusalem, whose name was dear to him. There would he pay his vows in the abode of fellowship, in the very heart of Judea, in the place to which the tribes went up tribes of the Lord. There is nothing like witnessing for Jesus, where the report thereof will be carried into a thousand homes. God's praise is not to be confined to a closet, nor his name to be whispered in the holes and corners, as if we are afraid that men should hear us, but in the thick of the throng, and in the very center of assemblies, we should lift up heart and voice unto the Lord and invite others to join with us in adoring him, saying, Praise ye the Lord, O Hallelujah. This was a very fit conclusion of a song to be sung when all the people were gathered together in Jerusalem to keep the feast. 
God's Spirit moved the writer of these Psalms to give them a fitness and suitability which was more evident in their own day than now. But enough is perceptible to convince us that every line and word had a peculiar adaptation to the occasion for which the sacred sonnets were composed. When we worship the Lord, we ought with great care to select the words of prayer and praise, and not to trust to the opening of a hymn book or to the unconsidered extemporizing of the moment. Let all things be done decently and in order, and let all things begin and end with hallelujah, praise ye the Lord. Oh, glory, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord. Yes, indeed, what a great subs. I love the Lord. Trust you enjoyed it all. Michael here declaring yet again, Jesus is Lord. Until next time, be blessed.